As an ex-Zen monk, today I feel like visiting the Buddha of the financial world. We have an investment club with a name that ends in .com, believe it or not, which tells you that the frenzy .com friends even seduced Zen monks when we tried to follow you. We find that uh, Mrs. Susan Buffett used to send Zen Buddhism books to her sorority sisters. That's probably why she always has a peaceful smile due to her low expectation of life, which according to Buddha is full of sufferings. But uh, Mr. Munger would tell me that Susan's smile is because you, as the husband, exceeded her low expectations. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And her father's even lower expectations. <laughs> right, right. Anyway, <clears throat> my question is, uh, did Susan also send those uh, Zen books to your office or your bedroom? And if you have read those books, what are the key ideas that contributed to your investment Tao, which even made sense to secluded, narrow-minded Zen monks like me? Thanks for the financial enlightenments you've given us today. Thank you. I sent those books on to Charlie, so I'll let him answer. <laughs> Actually, I tend to be a follower of Confucius. And I think this room is full of Confucian values. <laughs> you know, if the first law of Confucianism is filial piety, particularly toward elderly males, you can see why I like that system. <laughs> Area four. <clears throat>